So, Brian Shaw, I work for Andrews Metals and I'm a sales director for the mills in North America. Awesome. And Brian, what would you say is the biggest benefit of exhibiting at AIS Tech? Um, I would say the biggest benefit of exhibiting here is that you have really concentrated exposure to dozens, if not hundreds, of your uh, potential customers or potential partners of other companies you're going to work with all in just a very short amount of time that otherwise you'd have to you know, travel across everywhere just to meet those people and arrange meetings and that's a lot of work. So just the concentrated benefit of all these people in one place is, is huge. Yeah, remarkable. Um, and what would you say has been your favorite part of the show so far? Um, I'd say the favorite part is getting to reconnect with people that you don't easily see on a regular basis. You can go and visit them, set up a meeting at their plant, but when you can see so many people on one space, you get to see the same people year after year that you've worked with, um, maybe on a special project uh, and solving an issue at that customer, or you just keep seeing them because you're part of a AIST committee. Um, so you build up these relationships and that networking is is really a great part of it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what makes it enjoyable. Yeah, awesome. And what would you say, you're involved in the technology committees, what would you say is the biggest value of being involved in AIST and technology committees? I would say the biggest value is the fact that um, you're collectively working together with other people that are working on the same process as you because the, the committees are divided into specific processes like cold rolling or hot rolling and so um, people find that they have common problems and issues, even though it's with competitors, everybody's got the same objective to try and improve the process. And so you have a technical resource across the industry, not just coworkers. Right. Um, and especially for companies where people have a very small company, there might not be a lot of technical resource metallurgists or engineers that they can refer to in their own company. So if they're part of that technical committee, now they've got you know a dozen or more people that they can bounce ideas off and they can call to because they've all been part of the same group trying to improve that process. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and uh, what do you what do you love most about the steel industry? Um, I think the steel industry to me uh, is particularly enjoyable um, as a space because it takes both engineering and creativity to solve the, the questions that people are constantly having. Um, you can just take the example of how steel has evolved today. Someone outside of the industry thinks it's the same steel that was made a thousand years ago, but now we're talking about advanced high strength steel. And when I was going to school for metallurgy, that term didn't even exist. Right. And I recall being able to have the realization, I can ask my professor a question and he had to say, I don't know. There wasn't a formula or a book that he could reference to. And so in, in the metals industry, there's all kinds of things that people don't know. And so it takes thinking outside of the box that people have had before creatively, and then combining that with, with the engineering skills that actually think things get moved forward. So I, that's what makes it interesting to me and enjoyable. Creativity and sure. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't separate them. They're all part of the solution. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much. So. We're so excited you're here. We appreciate your All time. right. Great. Thank you.